Virtual production has a major challenge. Every production needs an environment, and they're not easy to make or cheap. To create these environments, you use a real-time rendering, like UE5, Houdini, or Blender. It's time consuming and probably one of the biggest bottlenecks in virtual production's pipeline right now. Sure, you can take a video plate and just throw it on an LED wall, make your virtual production, but doesn't that just ruin the entire point of using the LED wall and using virtual production? But a solution to this problem may be closer than you think. Enter AI. So unless you've lived under a rock for the last two and a half years, AI is revolutionizing the way we work in a lot of industries, including production. Man, I wish there was an AI tool that could just go Hit the subscribe button for me. Subscribe. All right, back to real AI. Like this video from Marian Ekin. This is entirely generated by AI. They actually kept all the mistakes in there just to see what an animation could look like with only prompts. Crazy, right? So what if we could apply AI to build 3D environments for our virtual production? Could AI change the way that we shoot movies or how we work on an LED volume? Imagine training an AI model to translate language into a visual and then map that visual into a 3D working environment. Sounds like a game changer, right? But it seems a little pie in the sky. Or does it? That's when I stumbled across these two articles by Noah Kadner on Virtual Producer. Generative AI and the future of filmmaking and generative AI accelerates virtual production. These articles discuss AI models that generate images then cut them into 2.5D plates that can then be used on an LED wall. This technology is currently being used for quick reference and client approval, which then allow 3D environment artists to proceed with asset creation. But this is just the beginning and as AI advances more Rapidly, we can only assume that technology like this will also advance further faster. Also back to the article, we thought it'd be great if we got the writer himself, Noah Kadner, here to answer some of our questions. And when you look at a show like The Mandalorian, you're seeing up to a year's worth of development time on the environments. And that might include photogrammetry, that might include modeling from scratch, it might include something where they made a real miniature and, and you know scanned that and turned it into a virtual environment. It really is a big bottleneck, a big challenge to get those things done. And so a tool like that could essentially turn it into, you know, you're standing on the stage and you're essentially talking directly to the AI either with voice prompts or or you know with text prompts and just kind of conjuring up exactly what you'd want to see on the screen. It shows up essentially as a 2D still in most of the uh, image generation tools, although we're slowly getting into the ability to add 3D and segment it and do, you know, 2.5D plates. If that were to be taken to its logical conclusion, yeah, it would be, uh, it, it could be a real game changer. So I think we should look at some of the potential applications that AI could have in the virtual production space. AI could be used to generate realistic lighting, shadows, and reflections in real time, enhancing the overall visual quality of virtual sets. It could also enable previs or pre-visualization and faster iteration, saving time and resources during the production process. And now it's time for a bold prediction. One second. Yep, that's me. AI will soon be able to create fully 3D environments optimized for virtual production. And not only that, I believe that these processes will happen in real time. Imagine being on a set and a director can just say, I want a mountain scene set in the fall. And then instead of the VAD team just going back and having to recreate that environment from scratch over the course of months or even a year, who knows? Generative AI would just be able to generate that asset and give a general visualization of what that scene would look like. And let's be honest, will the scenes be perfect? No, and that's why the environment artists are there in the first place. But even if an AI tool can get us 70% the way there, that saves 70% of production time. That sounds scary, like what happens to all these environment artists? But contrary to popular belief, AI won't remove the job of the environment artist. Instead, the environment artist can refocus their efforts on making a higher fidelity environment. One of the biggest problems in virtual production is that everything looks like a video game, right? Not only this, but you don't have to deep dive on an idea to see if an environment works. You can just throw an AI generated one on the screen and see if it fits the vibe before going full in. And embracing the power of AI may usher in a new era of efficiency in virtual production. I think a safe place to end off 
is with this. This is the current virtual production pipeline. I'm now going into an animation, so I'm just gonna look down at the, yeah. Pre-production, visual art department, visualization, pre editorial. This takes up about 40% of the virtual production pipeline. As everyone always says in virtual production, fix it in pre, not fix it in post. This is exactly what we're talking about right now. What takes the longest and allocates the most resources on every virtual production set, making the environments. And if we cut down on this, I can only imagine where virtual production goes next.